Hi everyone, my name is Cecilia Oferidate and I'm here to present to you my structure of the eye. So this is how mine came out. This is what I made. There you go. It is actually a bulb, so it could be hanged or you could just put it in something like I just did. So I just decided to put it right here to support it. So this is how, and oh, it is, um, it also has an area where you can put your bulb, then it lights at night. I just wanted something fancy. I don't know for some reason, I wanted something fancy. So I bought the bulb and I used, um, the uh what do you call this the uh is it a styrofoam yeah i use a styrofoam i cut it into two halves and use one half of it for the um the structure of the eye and glued it to the bulb so this whole part is a bulb and i use a cling film as the cornea we'll come to that when it's time but i just wanted to show you the structure of it and this is what i got but in the meantime, I'm just going to take out the bulb and then close it. So before I begin explaining the parts of the bulb, I would like us to take a look at the beauty of eyesight. We all know the object of sight is a very, very self-adjusting camera and it transmits impulse to the brain. It is the most beautiful part of the body of which you and I would just agree. So without your sights, it feels like part of you is gone and you're living in a total kind of darkness because you're away from the world. So I can say that um, our ability to see influences our emotions and our actions and we, we act according to what we see and how we feel based on on um, our eyesight. And so the question is, what helps us to see the things around us? Just as a camera focuses an image on a photographic film, our eye focuses on the retina and that is an image of what you are seeing right now. And that is what the book with the title, The Living Body says. So now we're going to um, take a critical look at the parts of the eye and its function. So let's go. So as you can see from this video, the human eye is round and spherical. The cornea is the outer or the first layer of the eye, and it's clear and transparent, which makes it possible for light to pass through. Much of the refraction of the light is, is done with the help of um, the cornea. So what I'm trying to say is light is able to bend to pass through the, the eye with the help of the cornea. It also acts as the frontal wall and protects the inner parts of the eye against foreign materials. Right behind the cornea is something we call the iris. This is the iris and is the colored part of the eye. When we say a person has a brown eye or a person has blue eyes, a person has a green eyes, it is the work of the iris. The iris is what gives a person the color of his or her eyes. So um, if a person has a blue eyes, it means a person's iris is blue. If a person has a brown eyes like mine, it means a person has um, brown iris. And as you can see, there is an opening at the center of the iris. That is what we call the pupil. This allowed lights to enter into the eye. So for example, if somebody flashes a torchlight or um, a flashlight, into your eyes, the iris is what accepts the, the reflection or the brightness of the light and regulates the amount of eyes that enters into your eyes. So when somebody flashes a torchlight on your eyes, the pupil quickly shrinks, like something like this, to reduce the amount of light that enters the eyes. Or when you find yourself in a totally dark room and you cannot see clearly, you have to open your eyes so wide and that is the work of a pupil. It quickly expands to allow more light into the eyes for you to see clearly in the dark. And this is the work of the pupil. And the light that passes through the pupil does not just fall on the pupil. It goes all the way onto the lens. And this is where we have the lens. So there is a lens behind 
the physical eyes eyeball you see there is a lens right here and the lens is what accepts the amount of light that passes through the lens it helps you focus the light onto the retina and the retina is somewhere around here we'll get to the explanation of the retina so let's focus on the lens so behind the eye is what we call the lens which accepts um the the light from the outside world so when somebody flashes a torch into your eyes it doesn't automatically end right here it goes all the way the lens accepts the light and passes it onto the retina the retina is also found right here right behind the high ball is the retina and it's the inner layer the retina contains nerve cells called the the cones the cones and the rods so once you flash a light at your eye, the pupil transmits it to the lens and the lens also takes it to the retina of which it contains the cones and the rod, the nerve cells called cones and rods. So the cones and rods therefore transmit um, the message into the optic nerves and that optic nerve is right here. all the way here the optic nerves is right here so it takes it to the back of the eye and the optic nerves are fibers that carries visual information from the eye to the brain so the light that was carried from the pupil is transferred from the lens to the optic nerves and from the up um the lens to the retina to the optic nerves then the optic nerves also carries it straight up to the brain. So we can say that the eye is protected with three layers of walls, which is the retina and the, the retina, the choroid and the sclera. And in between, this is what we call the vitreous humor. So the vitreous humor is right here. The vitreous humor is all around here. And what the vitreous humor does is it is a clear gel-like substance that fills the space between the retina and the eyes. It promotes, um, provides nutrients to the eye and it helps your eye keep its shape. And around it is what we call the sclera. So let's say this is your eyes. The whitish part of the eye you see is what we call the sclera. The sclera is the out whitish outer layer of the eye that provides protection and structure. And that is what you can see on the side. So in between the, the eyeball is the sclera on both sides. And that is what you can find right here with your eyes. We also have a choroid, which is right after the, the sclera. And what the choroid does is, it is a thin layer of tissues that forms part of the wall of the eye. And the choroid is also filled with blood vessels that brings oxygen and nutrients to the eye. So they all have a very important role they play. And last but not the least, we have the ciliary nerves, which can be found, um, ciliary nerves is right here. It is like a socket. I would like to explain it as a socket. It is an extension of the iris. So this is the iris and it has the pupil, is, has this extension. So the extension of the iris is what we call the, the ciliary muscles. It also sort of supports the lens. And what this does is it produces the fluid in the eye called the aqueous humor. And lastly, we have what we call the blood vessels which is found right here. This is the blood vessels. And what it does is it carries nutrients and oxygens to other parts of the body. They branch out like branches of a tree until they form a network of thin blood vessels called the capillaries. So before they branch out, they go all the way and form a thin um, blood vessel called the capillaries and transfer blood to other parts of the body. And this brings us to the end of 
the discussion about the structure of the eye and its functions. I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.